द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज मल्टीपल फिजन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट फिजन मीन्स डिविजन वेन एन ऑर्गेनिज्म इज गॉन अ डिवाइड इन टू मेनी ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट प्रोसेस इज नोन एज मल्टीपल फिजन हाउ एग्जैक्टली इज दिस प्रोसेस हैपनिंग देर आर ओनली टू स्टेप्स इन वर्ल्ड इन दिस प्रोसेस The first step is known as encystation. And the second one is known as sporulation. What exactly is encystation and what is sporulation? See, it's like uh, I told you about amoeba in binary fission that during favorable condition amoeba is going to divide by binary fission. That is single body will divide into two daughter cells. but when conditions are adverse they are not favoring the organism at that time this amorphous organism which which doesn't have any shape is going to develop a cyst around its body what exactly is this cyst cyst is a strong wall layer developed around the organism which makes organism much more resistant it doesn't allow organism to undergo desiccation or destruction okay now there's one important point what i would like to specify over here okay and that is like this particular organism when it's developing cyst the character of cyst is it's going to develop silicaceous wall layer silica is going to develop around its wall layer this is quite unique point what we would specify over here so cyst is going to develop silica layer that is the reason why the so called organism is not undergoing desiccation or destruction okay now once the wall layer develops cyst here this organism is going to form many nucleus many cellular structures within its body since cyst is protecting them they all are safe within the body and they all have single nucleus in them so encystation is a process where cyst develops around the body of an organism now once favorable condition starts appearing favorable condition in the sense favorable or preferable temperature or preferable water condition or humidity condition or rainfall is available so once rainfall or any such conditions are available the cyst is gonna tear up it's gonna come out and then these cells or these structures will, will be removed from the body whenever they go and fall onto some suitable substratum this cell is going to form new amoeba organism this is how organism multiplies but this information would not be sufficient for us for need we need to explore more number of examples one example which is been given in the textbook is amoeba we all know that amoeba has got different varieties in it like we also have ant amoeba ant amoeba wall layer is always having silica in its structure that is why it is also available in marine form then followed by this we have chlamydomonas yes chlamydomonas also divides by multiple fission plasmodium so all these are examples of organisms who actually divide by multiple fission that completes multiple fission topic now before i complete this topic or conclude this topic please make sure that you know this that earlier multiple fission was not been specified in textbook we used to teach this exclusively only for neat but right now it has been specified in the textbook which makes it more important so please make sure that you have understood this concept very clearly thank you